Pool life, it's the only life we know. Pool life, when you put it in the hole. Pool life, it's the cowboy show. Pool life, when you get that lucky roll. Never, ever do this. Now, I know what you're thinking. What? Pot an easy nine ball for the match? No, it's the way you play the nine ball. Let's get into it. I'm going to show you how to make more tricky little nine balls time and time again. I'm sure you've all missed them. I've missed them. Everybody's missed them. But it's about getting more consistent. Now, we've all been in this situation playing pool. The nine balls on the spot where it generally does land after the break shot. We've got a little angle on the eight and we're trying to get down to the nine. But ideally, we'd all love to be straight on the nine. But many games, many matches, it just doesn't happen. We always land somewhere a little like this and it leaves you a little teaser. Let me just pot the eight. And there you see, we wanted to be down here, but the angle didn't quite allow it, so we played the shot that we could, and we got here, sometimes we land here, various different places. This is lovely, dead straight, unmissable-ish. This area here, well, it leaves you that little tester. What we don't want to be doing is this, getting down, And just rolling the nine in. Yes, I potted it, but that can go wrong. This is what you need to be doing. This is what we call the 50 yard line. There's our straight line. We land on that line. We never miss the nine. Maybe one in a thousand you might miss the nine, but it feels unmissable. And the chances are you're going to slam it into the pocket. We've landed here. As you can see, it's way over this side of the line. And it's what we call the 50 yard line. Two ways of playing this shot. The first shot I'm going to play now, never play it like this. You're not going to play it with confidence. You're not going to play it positively. And the back arm when it's shaking, you're not going to deliver the cue through straight. This is a no-no. Two ways to play this shot. Certain pros play it a certain way. Other pros play it the different way. I'm going to get to the two ways of playing this in a second. Sometimes I've played it this way, playing off the two rails back into a similar position. And then in a different match, I might play it with draw. It just depends how you feel on that certain day. It's a bit of a weird one, really. I don't know why we do that, but you know, it's different days, different matches. It kind of is what it is. But there's only two ways to play this shot. Never roll the cue ball and try and pot the nine. So this is the first option you've got. So we're just going to pot it. We're focusing on this rail with the cue ball. We always want to get the cue ball bouncing off this side rail nice, not flying up table near these pockets. But we want it to hit that rail with a little bit of pace. So it's a little bit like this. There you see, coming back out anywhere in the middle of the table. And that means you can hit that shot with authority and you're never going to tweak it like when I was saying about rolling the ball. That's the first way. Your second option, you're going to play this with draw. You're going to be potting the nine in the corner, obviously, and you're going to draw the cue ball off the side rail. Joshua Filler seems to play this shot more than anyone else I've ever seen when he's got this little 50-yard line pot on the nine or the money ball, likes to draw it off the side rail. I don't know if it's a youth thing, is it an age? I prefer to play off the two, I'm an old man. Joshua, young man, likes to draw it, put it in the comments. What do you think and what do you play on this shot? So we're aiming low on the cue ball, little draw shot, off the side rail. Just like that. They're the two ways to pot that nine ball from the 50 yard line every single time. 
I don't want to see anybody rolling that ball on the money ball for the match, for the title, for the cash. Just don't do it. So here's the question. Is there a right or a wrong? Do you draw it off the side rail like a Joshua Filler? Or do you play it off the two rails, high ball, back out into the middle of the table like myself, an old man? I don't know. I don't believe there is a right or wrong. I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments. So, of course, please tell me. Let's do a quick recap. the two ways of playing them tricky little nine balls guys if you've enjoyed this video smash the like button hit the subscribe button share tell your friends tell the family tell the world i'll see you soon